Hey guys, what's up? Today was an awesome day. I closed my 10th client and this sale is the sale that you always are waiting for. It was the easy one that almost just fell into my hand. So what happened here was I had made a round of cold calls about a week and a half ago. I then did a round of follow-up emails. This lady called me straight off my email, um, said she was interested in the website. I gave my sales pitch right then and there on the phone, got her convinced, got her buying temperature high. She said, okay, let's do this. I said, great, read over the terms and conditions. I'll give you a call tomorrow to collect payment. I gave her a call. She actually didn't answer, so she flaked out once. But then she called me back today with her credit card in hand and said, great, let's do this. It was $550 up front in the bank. That's about a week and a half of living expenses for me. Not to mention, the hosting fees we agreed on was $25 per month, continuing forever, as long as her business is alive, and that's the passive income that I want to be building in the long term. So we've added one more pin here to British Columbia. It's a dog training business, and just a really phenomenal success. You know, I've been, it's been seven months since I started my journey as an entrepreneur, solo by myself, and Every week, every day, I actually track every little dollar and cent I spend. I keep all my receipts, I put it into an Excel document. I also track all the money that comes in. And I'm thrilled to say that seven weeks in, I'm at a net positive level. So I've been able to actually save a little bit of money here in one of the most expensive cities in North America, Vancouver. Being an entrepreneur, having my own business, having no boss. And honestly, the feeling is incredible, that feeling of financial freedom, that feeling like you are, I've proven to myself that this is possible, that this will actually work. Now, I'm a long way away from my passive income goal of building $1,000 of passive income from this business, but the upfront design fees that I'm getting charged, or sorry, that I'm charging with these websites has been enough each week to keep me going. I mean, realistically, I, I only need one sale every week and a half. I can do 150 to 200 cold calls a week. So I have to make one sale, let's say every 300 cold calls. That's really not that hard to do. It's very realistic. So life is good. The business is going well. I can breathe easy knowing that I'm not going any further into debt over the whole course of time since I set out on this solo journey. So it's been an awesome day. Until next time, stay tuned.